Google Gemini CLI can do wonders, but in this video, we are not going to talk about the coding part. We all know it, it can write insane amount of code, but we are talking about apart from coding. And for the general users, just like you, if you want to play with videos, PDFs, text, audios, photos, this video is for you. So with the simple installation, which I've already covered in the previous video, do watch that for the installation part. You can easily use this. CLI perform many tasks that require a lot of other apps installed on your system. So without further ado, let's get started. After the successful installation, go to the desired folder you want to navigate and right click on it. Services, there is a new terminal at Finder. Same way you can do with the Windows, right click on it, go to the Windows terminal. It's better to run that as an Android freedom. So let me go to the services here and new terminal at folder. So it will open the terminal and now if you have followed the installation instruction from my previous video then you know how to activate Gemini just type npx and type Gemini then you need to authenticate with your Google account you have three options here first is login with Google and there is Gemini API key you can get to from AI studio already authenticated with my Gmail so first part of the video is about videos if you have a videos then you can play around with it for example if you want to change the resolution of your video for example type add and just search for the video you want to change the resolution to 16 by 9 so it will start converting that file to 16 by 9 resolution so thing here is you need to install some dependency so you will see a option just like this allow some dependency to install go ahead and click yes allow because it will save more time and maybe you don't have a dependencies installed on your system and for that you just tell the Java to install it and convert that particular file so it will start installing it by itself go ahead and search on google for example fmpeg installation or any dependencies installation that google requires so here you can simply download that installation you have a file for the mac linux and windows as well it will always want you to allow the execution commands just select always allow and it will start converting that for you and what fmpeg can do so if you are a newbie just like me so just you charge it or even cloud on any bot you want so here you will see the list of things that this particular extension can do it can convert any format compress videos extract audio from the video there's actually a number of things you can do with the help of this if you have installed this fmpeg then google cli can do wonders let's just wait for our converted file there you go i have successfully converted this to this format now let's check our video and it is tagged with 16 by 9 there you go so it is now available in the 16 by 9 ratio as you can see or you can just go ahead and click on get info so here you will get the resolution the original video was in 9 by 16 so this is the way you can easily do that here so the possibility is endless for example adding watermarks first select your video which is the converted one and add watermark Either you can add an image, give an image to it, or you can add a text. What on our text? Webby.com on bottom middle. Give it a font size of 40px, just like that. And let's see if it can do the job. And boom, you have got your video watermarked. Let's see our video. So it has my website. About cursor or bold, there is a new player in loop with my website name to my video. And free. App downloadable. Sense. This is how you can use Google CLI to work around videos. See what FMPEG can do. You don't need any video editors out there that requires this basic job. You can simply do that with the help of Google CLI. Okay, moving forward, let's extract the audio from our video file. So what we are going to do is specify the video, extract audio from the video. It has extracted that particular file. So there you go. And now I really don't want O MP3. I want in an AB format. We can also do that here. Provide a file name with the add command and then con the form to V. Okay, so it has successfully converted that particular file and even more you can change the byte rate and sample rate and you can also add surround sound to it and you can also merge to 10 files 
using this particular CLI. If you manage to get Whisper installed on your system, which is speech to text model, you will be able to transcribe this. For example, I'm already installed the OpenAI's Whisper and I didn't install that. Google CLI. So you have to give a documentation. For example, this is the Whisper which you can download and let the Google AI play around with it. I've already done that. It's super simple. Let the Google does the job. Let the Gemini do, does the job. And afterwards, you can easily transcribe any audio using the simple command. I will include the WVAV file which we have converted and then transcribe this audio. So it's an, a simple click of a button and this is a transcription it has created and you can, if you want to summarize that particular audio, you can go ahead and ask that as well. Summarize the audio as well. So it will give you all the pointers you want. So now talking about something which actually amazing. So this workflow, what we do is it to extract the audio from the video, which is a long form video and summarize the part of the video and then it will cut that part. For example, let me share this file which is a bigger video transcribe this video summarize and then cut and create good parts the video in trailer for up to 30 seconds only so let's see it can actually create one so what it can do is it will convert our video file to the mp3 or i would say audio file then it will use whisper to transcribe this audio and then it will create a trailer for us it's crazy right but it's going to do that so first it has to transcribe the audio as we have said and then based on this summary i will select the following clips so from zero to five which is the introduction to my video and some part of summarizing a pdf some part of compressing a pdf file and showing the final app so we have the trailer ready let me just play that here this one google launched their gemini cli which is open source anyone can use it for free right. First, it cut the introduction part. Then, after five seconds, the next one. And then, at the last, but you can use this for free. No tool required, no AI video editor required. This is how you can leverage this particular tool to create something like this. So let's move on from video audio to PDF. So for the PDFs, it can do many things. For example, if you want to create a invoice template, you can easily do that with the help of this. I suggest you to do with the invoices, create a HTML first, then convert that into a PDF. That way it's better to create one. First search Google for what to include in in for as per US law. So just giving a context to the Gemini. So what to include in an invoice. Okay. So let it search as per our prompt. It has a search for what to include in our invoice as per the norms. Next, all you need to do is provide the information. So uh, trendy invoice template in HTML for my business web.com and Fill all same data, add header and footer with orange color background as well. It's done. It has created the file with the invoice HTML. Let's open that. There you go. Oh, wow. It's actually pretty decent. First, I will tag that with my file name, which is invoice HTML. Create invoice for let's say promptslug.com company address is 123 and why avenue our us it to PDF just like this. So it successfully updated and converted into PDF. There you go. It has added all the information we need. This is one use case you can use for the PDF, but there's more to it. For example, you can even translate your PDF file here first track text from this you need to select that particular file to extract the text let me grab that file this is the file from which i want my text to be extracted save to txt just like that let's see first and it's done so let's see our file to the txt format we have a file so we have the text data select that particular file isolate this by yourself without printing then c and save txt and then convert to pdf let's see if it can actually do that and there you go so it has downloaded let me open that it added the headings highlighted all the formatting here which is actually unbelievable for me because it's really hard to convert the pdf so first it analyzes all the text and do that one by one and then it uh, created the html file with the formatting then it translated to the pdf which is i think the best way to do that okay so moving forward from the pdf there's one more exciting thing you can do with the help of google cli downloading public videos you can grab any public video on the internet and google cli will download it for you let me 
me give you a demo. For example, let me just grab my latest review, which is on the Google CLI as well. And going to here, just to download this video, just like that. First, it will detect is YT DLP is installed on your server. So what is YT do? DLP is actually a repo on GitHub which is actually famous repo that most of the downloaders on the internet to download videos. You need to install that on your machine but you don't need to be worried about that. Google Gemini CLI will do the rest. So let's just wait for it. And as you can see, it has started downloading it. There you go. 40% is done. And there you go. So we have got our file. Let's check that out. Go to tool. And there you go. We have got our video here. So this is the way you can download any file on the internet. So by the public, I mean you can download Instagram videos or LinkedIn videos. Let me give you an overview for that as well. Going to the So this is my video. Let me just grab the link here. Going here download this video and just wait for it and it will call the api and it started downloading it boom so you have got yourself program video just like giving one command so this is how you can use google cli to download anything from the internet only one thing is there that it should be public it should be public video available to everyone not behind paywall or authentication so that's it for this video so i hope you get to know the bugs of using google cli and there's actually more you can use this cli too for seo as well yes because there are actually many mcps out there for example google search console's mcp server analytics custom search and there's also page insights so what if we can use mcp to create reports for ourselves and perform the seo audit yes we can do that so i need to research on it if you want me to create a video on that do let me know in the comment box and yes it can use the mcp server for you so i hope you learned something from this video like this video subscribe to this video and please put a comment because it will boost my morale to post more videos like this see you in the next video bye bye